Hey Fasttube, it's Lally at Lollipop Stitches. It is October and um, I have not done a video in a while. <laughs> um, I have got quite a bit to talk about I think. Um, I've got a new phone so we'll see how this goes um, because it's not iPhone. It's I've moved over to Android which could be interesting. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be great for videos and such um, and hopefully quality of video is going to be better. Hopefully, we'll see, I don't know. Um, I have got a bit of stitching to show you because that's why we're here. I've got two FFOs and one graveyard <laughs> um, and I have got um, stuff. So updates, um, thank you for everybody for the birthday wishes, um, I didn't do a lot, I had a couple of days off work and I just kind of sat chilled out and stitched which was really like perfect, it was overdue some might say and um, it was it was good, it was good not to do anything. Going back into work however was not that great, um, we're not talking about work. Um, and then, what else? Yeah, so I didn't do anything for my birthday really, I went out for a family meal, standard, usual stuff. Um, it's just not doing what I want it to do. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so um, thank you everybody for the birthday wishes. Um, I had a birthday code on my Etsy. Uh, for 10% off for the week, so thank you for everybody that ordered. Um, I received Michelle Bendy's uh, or Bendy Stitchy Designs um, patterns for all the patterns to date. Um, so I've got all of those easily available, ready to ship in the UK. <coughs> I did a video, I'll link that below, um, discussing receiving them. And in there, there might be a gift for you if you go and watch it. And if you're in the UK, um, I want Bendy Stitchy uh, patterns. And I have updated my Etsy. Um, so the Bendy Stitchy designs are now free shipping. Free shipping. Um, so yeah, if you're in the UK and want them, go get them. Etsy shop link will be below. Um, I got a cold, which is still cold. <laughs> um, I don't want to be too close to the camera because like my skin's really dry. <laughs> and if this is a good camera, then that's ugh. Um, so yeah, that's still got that. That's not going away yet. It's better, but it's not going away yet. Um, so if I sniff a lot or sound ugh, that's why. Um. What else? I, birthday, that was pretty much it really. September was fairly quiet, I think. Well, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Who knows? Um, in other news, it is only 49 days exactly till I go on holiday. Yes, come at me. Um, I will be in, I will be on the west coast of the state for two and a bit weeks um, and I'll be, um, I will be in San Francisco, Anaheim and Las Vegas and I will get to Stitches Paradise this time. So that's that. Um, what else? I think that's it really. Um, so I'm going to go through what I can. Um, if there's any questions about anything that I've missed or what have what not, um, just comment below. And I've got to catch up on last the last video's comments, um, but I'm sure I can do that today. So the weekend before my birthday, it was International Floss Tube. What's it called? International Floss Tube FFO weekend. Michelle and Diana, I'm sure, will tell me if I'm wrong. Um, but they do it, they host it, they hosted it, 
um, everybody joined in. Um, I did one. <laughs> that was my contribution to International Forest Tube FFO weekend. I mean, it sounds about right. So, um, I'll show you the one that I did. Um, so this is I Put a Spell on You by Witchy Stitcher. Um, the fabric. Ooh, what fabric did I use? Mm. I don't remember. Um, either this camera is really good or the screen on the phone is really good. So, um, I think I switched out the colours. Honestly, it's been that long, I don't remember. Um, I switched out the colours. This frame. Dude, when I posted this on Instagram, I had so many comments about this frame. Guys, I'm going to be 100% real. This frame is plastic and it was like a pound. And I think it was from Wilkinson's, which is kind of like your... Walmart, I guess, to a certain degree, on a very small scale. Um, a very cheaper scale, um, like this, this small, I can't remember what, so I can't compare it to anything else that I've been to in the States, but I had um, quite a few of these frames um, with artwork postcards from Disney in my room, which I've redone, um, so all these frames are now free to use, um, so yeah, it was like a pound, and um, plastic and it's literally just there was obviously there was glass in it I took it out and um I put in like three layers of batting to make it poofy I like the poofiness um but I love it, it turned out really well I like because it's kind of, yeah you know guys you know so that was for international flash tube FFO weekend where am I going to put it? Who knows? It's been up there for like, since I finished it. But that's, I've got no space. No space. Because I've got shit everywhere. Um, next one was, so I stitched on this for Enchanted Stitching Challenges. Don't ask me what ones, because I don't remember. Um, last weekend, there was a bonus, um, bonus points that you get by oh, wait so one of the challenges was to work on your oldest whip no that's not right yeah it is he I should have looked at that before um oh, no that's not right one of the challenges was to work on a whip closest to a finish that was it but I'm sure there was one that worked on anyway um work on a whip that's closest to a finish and um oh actually i think that was a combined one it was either work on your oldest whip or work on a whip closest to a finish either way i worked on a whip that was closest to a finish because it was small um and i only started it like two weeks ago um because it fit another challenge because it was small um and it was related so um so you'll you'll see the similarities plastic frame <laughs> so this is all the powers of hell from wild violet cross stitch um ryan she charted she charted this pattern for um the enchanted stitches group because september was sleeping beauty so um i mean look at it it's fabulous so the i just used 310 for the black um for the border and maleficent's horns whatever they are um and for the crow i used jodery designs nevermore which is kind of like my go-to even though i don't have much of it and i haven't used it all that much um it's my go-to for darkish stuff i know what i mean um and then the green that i used i don't know if it was the call for green 
or um, without checking the pattern. I don't know if it was the Call for Green, but it's one of the new DMC greens. And it's it's so bright on the fabric and it matches well with the frame. Um, and I got my bonus points. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that that is done. So that's another FFO. Two FFOs in the space of like a week and a half. What the hell's going on? I also poofed that one up a bit. Um, I think I only put two layers of batten in that one. You can't really tell because the frame is in the front. I mean, that's just the back. It, they're really not anything spectacular at all. Um, so next we'll move on to stitching whips in pro whips in progress because that's the right thing to say um bear with me hmm. um so for that challenge I, I swear it's the same challenge it was work on your oldest whip so i pulled out um bear with me You don't want to see the pattern. I pulled out uh, Brooks Books Snow White, which I think is my oldest pattern. Um, this video is going to be unedited. I can tell you that now because I don't know how to edit it on this phone yet. Um, I will need to speak to Diana. For recommendations. So, what, where I was, um, let me see, see how I can hold this, I was down to here so above my hand is everything that I finished uh, when I stopped working on it last and all of this is what I stitched for the, I think I hit two challenges with this, um, just stitching that section. Um, but I love the detail in this. I do love Brooks books. Um, what are they called? Fairy tale princess dress up collections. Um, I have a couple of others, um, but this one spoke to me uh, the most out of them to actually want to start it. Um, and I'm not a huge Snow White fan. Go figure. But I like the pattern. So I worked on that for two challenges, so I think I put just over 500 stitches on that one. Um, I then... I'll go with this one. Ste oh, don't do that. Everything's sliding everywhere. Um, I worked on Steoch. Steoch. Um, and caught up, but no... I haven't caught up on the last week's one, so I'm still technically a week behind. Um, so this is 2019 Mystery Cell. We all know. Come on, guys. We all know. We all know. We all know. My stitching is fabulous. Two two is all I'm saying. And this I'm keeping in my uh, bags plus floss buddy flip thing so I have it in the front and the vinyl front and I have all the floss and then some because there's more than 45 colours yeah there is um so that's that one so I've got this week's catch up on before Sunday I also worked on caterpillar cross stitch uh, deck the hall cell. If you're still interested in joining on the cell, joining in on the cell, um, you can still get 10% discount code while E10. Um, I'll put, I'm not going to be able to put it on a screen anywhere, so it's just lolly, L O L L Y 10. Um, so I did a bit more on this because the second part was released. The third part is was released today, so I'm behind on this one also. <laughs> but I like it. It says um, this 
one says dress true but I might change or I might do a back stitching of the next to dress because it's dress the tree um, and the new release is hang stocking so I might change it to hang the stocking because there's no room to put stockings um, I'll have to have a look but yeah if you want to join it's cute um, 10% off the pattern with lolly 10 discount code uh, next I picked up I picked up, that's not that one, <clears throat> hmm, I haven't got a picture, um, you'll know it, you'll love it, uh, Deb from oh my god what are they called, Deb and Kef, you know, having a brain fart, Deb's done it, Kef has uh, not been working on it, <laughs> um, so I did a bit more on that, um, I'm using a DMC, one of the new purples, I think it's like four, um, for this rather than black, um, and the fabric is fabric flare spider webs, and it's sparkly, it's fabulous, it's lovely to work on, Oh, sorry, the colour's 29. 29, not 4. 29. Nice colour. Look at that perfection of zooming. Thank you, phone. Love you already. Um, so, I'll probably stitch on that for some more challenges. This pouch is so cute. I got it from HomeSense, which is the home shop of TK Maxx. Love it. And then I worked on not a lot, to be honest, in my Christine bag. Um, SW Sept Cell, Star Wars September Cell for um, my birthday that me and Carla started. Um, it's ongoing. You didn't have to stitch in September. You just have to stitch on something Star Wars. Um, so I'm doing Awesome Pattern Studios Millennium Falcon. And changing out the colours to something I like. So I use this for a couple of challenges as well. So I filled in, I think, this section I did for a bit of a challenge. Still got a fair bit to go. But those colours are fairly true. Maybe a little bit lighter in person. I can't capture the pink of that floss well at all. It's a very deep pink. Not purple, it's just a very deep pink. I just can't get it right. Um, so that is all the stitching whips that I've worked on. I have um, I really get rid of that. No, oh, I got rid of two. So I UFO'd two more whips. Um one was uh what's that one? Kind of been important clearly because I don't remember what it was. Oh yes, I do. It was Gary. Don't hate me. Please don't hate me. What? Well, it was Cricket Collection October. I UFO'd it. I don't know why. I just I don't know if it's the patterns. I just can't get on with it. With the pattern, it was it was just really weird. Um. So I UFO'd that, um, I literally only started like a little bit, so I've not unpicked it um, or anything, I've just put the fabric back in my stash. <laughs> um, the other one was, um, Country Classic Needleworks, similar to short. This was a, a sal that Vonna started, like, I want to say, not last year, maybe the year before? No, 
that's all good. Um, and I like it, however, I just don't really want to finish it. And I've not stitched on it for like a year, so that's where I got. <laughs> oh, and I had many troubles with the top, so, you know, it's just what it is. I've UFO'd it, UFO'd it. I've come to accept that I'm not going to stitch on it anymore. And uh, it's going to go in the graveyard. So, now we come to... How in the hell did I fold it up? Now we come to the graveyard. So if you saw on Instagram or if you follow me, Michelle, last year we did a huge D stash whip um whip down of um both of our whips. Was that last year? I don't even think it was last year. It might have been the year before. And that's even more awkward. Um and I whipped down about 12 maybe I can't be able to count maybe about 12 projects that I just wasn't going to work on or I was going to restart another time on a different fabric um so I kept mine to one side after I cut them off the fabrics because I obviously started them I always start top left and if you whip down it's easy just to cut off that top left corner and reuse that fabric because you won't have started much I'm sure. So I had them all sitting on the side for quite some time. Um, and then as kind of part of FFO weekend, I decided, I, I have been thinking about it for a while, that I was going to put them in the graveyard. Excuse the... No, that should be all right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven. 14, 15, one more to go in there. Um, so I just cut out the bits that I'd started and um, place them in here. And I can fill it over time and keep it as a momentum of stuff that I started and failed to finish. <laughs> not failed to finish, but decided to not go with it anymore. Um, You've even got a Mickey Mouse here, which I think is quite cute. Um, Shoot for the Moon um, is kind of a void because I actually restarted that on black fabric and I finished it. And I've not framed that one. <laughs> um, Pirates of the Caribbean, little Star Wars one up here. Which will add text. Um, yeah, it is what it is. That's tw 21-ness from 2017 Christmas. Um, so yes, graveyard. Um, I posted that on Instagram. Everybody loved that idea, so you're welcome. Um, I haven't got all of my dark October stitching with me. They're all in the project bags downstairs. However, I'm going to go through two uh, new stars that I'm going to do for dark October stitching in two new um, project bags that I got from from Mama Loves You GB and she's based in the UK um, and the project bags are vinyl fronted project bags excuse me um, and they are really well made so rather than trying to figure out ones to make myself I mean Mary Poppins who doesn't love Mary Poppins um, and the Halloween one I like the Halloween one. Um, when she posted them, I went straight away and purchased them because they were ready made, ready to ship. Um, so I have I had to order the floss for some of these, and I've ordered a toile to use on one of them, which I've not used before. I might start that today. Yeah, well, I mean, why not? Right. Why not? Um, so let me just organise. That one goes in there too. Oh no. Um, got that. 
that, got that, and that one. So, that looks about right. Um, so I'm going to start with Witchy Stitcher Hall Happy Halloween uh, Vintage Halloween Cat Pattern. I'm going to start that today. Good decisions for Dark October stitching. I haven't really done any stitching this week because I have been feeling like crap. Um, I think, what day was it? Uh, Monday. Because I started getting it on Sunday. Monday, I went to bed early <laughs> and woke myself up snoring because of how blocked my nose was. Which is an achievement in itself, I must say. Um, I then, somebody shared this on, I think it was uh, a... I just realised I didn't get something in my order. How dare they? Um, I'll have to contact Lakeside Needleworks for that one. Um, uh, yeah, I think it was shared on the Witchy Stitcher Facebook group. Um, um, and it was a link to like a Pinterest board with Halloween cross stitch patterns. And there was one, 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 one. One tiny pattern that I navigated fully, a French website, not translated because it wouldn't translate it, um, to get this pattern. And my achievement was one, and I got the pattern. And it's a vintage Halloween uh, little girl. Look how, look how cute that cat is. I mean, it's adorable. I don't know if I think I'm gonna do her as charted. Um it should be fine, I think. There's a lot of colours, there's some blends, like there's a lot of colours. Um there's some blends, but I'm okay with that. Hey, I've done Steel Arch now with all the blends, so I can do anything. Um next. I received a Whip down pattern from Michelle. I received the Santoro If Only Counted Cross Stitch Kit from Bro Brothy Threads or Brothy, as people like to say, and of this lady because she's fabulous. I love her hair. I like the colours in it and I like this. I like it all. Um, so I got that from Michelle. Do not tell me that entire background is stitched in white. No, no, it's not. It's okay. It wouldn't be happening anyway. Um, I also received... Um, oh dear. Uh, I received some complimentary patterns and stuff from Fat Quarter Shop. So I have got the next set of Be In My Bonnet uh, stitch cards from Laurie Holt. So that's those ones. You've got the tractor, the quilt square, scarecrow, edge. Um, so I've got those to take a, a look at. Um, I also got the New Quilty Love pattern, which is really cute. I like the colours on that. Um, I also got a uh, Farm Girl Vintage 2 uh, quilt book. I mean, how means in the book. There's some patterns in here that you could... I apologise for the noise. I apologise for the noise. I apologise for the noise. But I don't know how I'm going to get this out. There we go. Um... I could do like an entire pumpkin quilt with that one pattern. Um, the instructions are really clear. You've got different um, quilt layouts that you can use. Um, so it's really good. Oh, excuse me. Oh, see, now I want to make a pumpkin quilt. Don't say anything about quilts when Diana's on. 
she'll come and hunt me down and ask me why haven't I finished my quilt. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've got that. Put those two. I don't have enough room. <laughs> um, um, I then was contacted by oh, Hannah, I want to say, her name was. Uh, is there anything up here? I don't know about double checking. Uh, please hold. Um, where the hell do you go to your inbox on? No. Uh, no, no, oh, it might have if I spelt it right. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, No. Yeah, but seriously, why do you check your messages? <laughs> uh, let's do. Guys, uh, I'm confused. Honestly, what? Where in Fresh Hell? Oh, I don't even know. I don't know. Sorry. Um, so the owner of xstitch.eu contacted me. Obviously, we all know who she is. Um, because Bendy Stitchy has been stitching her uh, her charted version of Alice, the the watch and the teacup with the flamingo in it, and she framed it in that beautiful frame. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so she got in contact with me and asked me if I wanted to review um, a, a pattern, uh, a kit, sorry, from her shop. So I was just like, sure, of course I will. Um, so she sent me, uh, she asked me to look through her shop and ask me what I wanted. And she sent me what I wanted. So I have received the kit. There will be a review video of the kit um, maybe early this week. Uh, it's almost the weekend. Um, maybe early next week. I've got a busy week next week. Um, when I get five minutes. Um, There'll be a video review of the kit and I will have started it. She has many patterns. Not many, but enough to have a selection. One of the selections is Disney. She has uh, Mickey as the Sorcerer, so it was a very tough choice between Mickey as the Sorcerer or Chippendale. I totally went for Chippendale because they're freaking adorable. And it's a full kit. It comes with the fabric, floss, and instructions. Um, so if you want to take a look at her shop anyway, I'll link her below. Um, but there will be a separate review video for this kit. And when I start it, can't wait. I love Chippendale. Um, I have the need to de-stash some patterns so um wait let me sort this out de 
Yes, the sash. Um, so I'm going to show you what they will be, and they will be put up on my Instagram this weekend. Um, the D stash, first to claim, uh, will be first to get them. Uh, um, so um, I'm just going to quickly go through them. So Country Cotton Needleworks, Sweet Land of Liberty. Uh, Trail Creek Farm, Christmas, Country Cottage Needleworks, Glitter, Glitter Village, that's the first one, uh, Peter Pineapple from Heart and Hand, Road, UFO, Cookie Collection, I'm also getting rid of Christmas, and Heart and Hand Summer Medley. So these will go up for D stash at some point. Um, it's been a while, so giveaway, shall we? Shall we? Um, I am going to give away two sets of Fat Quarter Shop goodies. So the first set is going to be so she did and um be my bonnet stitch cards set a so that's set one that you will be entering to win set two is um happy camper each stitch no eat sleep stitch repeat and another copy of set a um stitch cards so that's set two what did I say set one set two if I could hold it properly set one set two okay um usual guidelines you have to be every teen you have to be a subscriber um and you have to comment on this video and what you're going to say is are you going to tell me what you have planned for your dark October stitching or what you what Halloween projects you have for stitching this month and you need to say I would like set A or set B. I think that's pretty clear. Set A or set B and tell me what Halloween stitching you're doing or dark October stitching. So comment below. Giveaway is going to remain open until the next video. Um, so until the next video, that will be when the giveaway is. Um, so yeah, that is it for today. Um, so plans obviously start Witchy Stitcher Halloween, Happy Halloween and the, the Halloween Girl Cross Stitch. Um, there'll be a review for xstitch.eu's Chippendale kit um, she does other kits so I'll link that below I hope everybody's doing well I hope um, everybody's enjoying whatever they're doing um, and I will see you soon um, so thanks for liking thanks for returning to watch thank you for commenting, subscribing checking out on Instagram um, it's been a bit quiet this week on Instagram from me, unfortunately. But, um, hey, we'll, we'll see what goes next, shall we? Um, so, peace out, nerds, and I'll see you soon. Bye!